So what can you do after you've etched a printed circuit board and the copper trace lines, the lines of the circuitry, which are very narrow sometimes, like in this board, and uh, you can inadvertently scrape off a piece of the copper trace, like right in this area. So tonight we're going to try and fix this, remedy it somehow. Now there was another one, another piece of trace here that I attempted to remedy by drawing some co or some solder across the gap and that seemed to work. I could test it with continuity and it seems to be fine. But we're going to try something different for this area. We're going to try and use this conductive pen and apparently it will allow us to draw a line across the circuitry and close those gaps that we talked about. So according to the instructions, you tap it and then you shake it vigorously for 20 seconds. Then it, you want to practice a little bit. So here's a, a PCB that we don't need anymore because it's a bad one. So we can just squeeze it a little bit. You see it just brings a trail out there. It's kind of wide, so we're going to have to kind of be careful with that. So we just want a little bit. All right, so let's try it. Again, the place we're interested in hitting is right in here. So let's go at it. Well, it looks like it's covered. So I think we've got the gap there. Now the real hard part is we have to wait 45 minutes to allow this to air cure. Apparently if we had an oven we could do the same thing in about 5 minutes at around 250 degrees. So I'll see you in 45 minutes. So we've waited for at least 45 minutes. Oops. So now we're going to try and uh, check out continuity on this. That's continuity. So, here to here, we have it, good. So this conductive pen worked for us. In a pinch, I think it's a good idea. I don't think I'd want to rely on it though.